Now, federal spending. Federal spending is really the focus. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the uh, House Oversight Committee. And one of the great frustrations that I think people have across the country, and I certainly do on the Oversight Committee, is this transformation that Vivek is trying to, to help lead out on, that we're trying to hold the White House accountable for, because they have a monumental task in trying to, to transform and move this ship forward. Um, but I want to give you a sense of how desperate this situation is. Our federal government right now um, is spending about $3.6 trillion. Sometimes it fluctuates a little bit, but we're spending about $3.6 trillion. If you were to spend a million dollars a day, every day, it would take you almost 3,000 years to get to one trillion. We're $14 trillion in debt. We're spending three point over, you know, 3.6 trillion. The numbers are astronomical. And yet, typically, when you go to an agency and you ask them, can you please provide me a spreadsheet of where your expenses are going? And I want to see some detail. They cannot provide it. And I know many of you have run into that frustration. One of my biggest frustrations right now is USAID. I look particularly at Haiti. I have been to Haiti. It's one of the greatest human disasters on the face of the planet. We went to Haiti and we sat down there with the ambassador. We sat down with the USAID people and said, please give us a list of what you're working on. Now, they gave us somewhat of a spreadsheet with some very general numbers. But here you have 700,000 people living in nothing more than a tent. We have spent over a billion dollars in a country where $5 matters. I asked if what would be a good daily rate for somebody to get a job. This is a country where there's 80% unemployment. They said, if you paid somebody $2 a day, that would be an unbelievable job for somebody. And yet we've spent over a billion dollars and less than 5% of the rubble, I'm sorry, less than 10% of the rubble has actually been cleaned up. So you, me, others want to know, well, where did that money go? Where is it being spent? They cannot provide you the very basic data to do that. And again, I appreciate what the White House stood, because believe me, they <laughs> didn't exactly have, weren't inheriting a, a, a great start here. But at the same time, we can't just continue to pour billions of dollars into these projects without the degree of accountability and oversight that everybody should be able to access. For instance, there's a website, usaspending.gov. Through our analysis, we find that only 35% of the data is actually accurate. Now, you all know better than anybody that the data that you're accessing, if it's not good, you're going to have an even worse result. So accuracy is the other part of the key. And we're working on legislation. And there's some good people in the House that I can tell you that, that really do care about this issue. At least on my side of the aisle, um, uh, D Chairman Daryl Issa has just been a great champion. He gets and understands this technology. Uh, the other one is Bob Goodlatte. Uh, Bob Goodlatte's son is actually a pretty senior person down at, at Facebook. And when I had a chance to go visit Facebook, I got to see Bob Goodlatte's uh, son. He gets it. He understands it. Fortunately, he's got a very senior position there in the Judiciary Committee. We will continue to make sure that there are consistent, consistent data elements and standards so that you can access and manipulate that data to provide the information that, that you need. We're up against some major things. For instance, Treasury uses a two-digit code and try to how it allocates data. And then on the other side, OMB uses a three-digit code in order to access the data. They seem like such basic things, but those standards, I want to support and help and work hand in glove with VEC to make sure that we can access that data and, and provide it. 